By now, you're probably becoming familiar with Canvas Editor. It's time to explore the extensive elements library, where you'll find shapes and lines, graphics, tables, charts, photos and videos, and so much more. You'll even be able to create your own visuals using the AI image generator. In this video, we'll show you how to navigate, find, and customize items from the Elements tab. Tap Elements, and at the top, you'll find the search field. You'll be using this a lot. It's really the best way to find exactly what you need. The results are categorized by type, and you can filter here. Advanced filtering lets you choose color and orientation, whether it's animated or static. Let's choose graphics. You can find out more information about each element by tapping and holding on the element. Here, you'll see who made it, its price, and keywords. You can also star it to find later, add it to a folder, or see more like this. This gives you magic recommendations of similar themes and styles. View more by this creator by tapping their name. Some elements belong to a collection, ideal for creating consistently themed designs. See the code at the top? Copy it for easy future reference or to share the set. When you find the perfect element, just tap it and it will appear in your design, ready for you to start editing. Below the recently used section, you'll find shapes. Tap see all and you can choose pre-made line styles. Let's choose this one. The toolbar will change depending on what's selected. With lines, you can adjust colors, style, weight, endpoints, and the type of line. Resize by dragging an endpoint or move the entire line like this. Rotate it here. Choose one of the predefined shapes from the menu and you'll see they work in a similar way. You can also start typing within shapes, then adjust the font and style using the text tools. Don't want a square? Change it to a triangle here. Adjust the corner rounding like this. Drag your line to this point to attach it to the shape. Now, when you move the shape around, it stays attached. Graphics is a catch-all term for things like icons, illustrations, stickers, and more. Most illustrations, but not all, allow color adjustments. On top of resizing and rotating, you can also crop or flip any graphic like this. Photos and videos are much the same, but deal with static and moving images, respectively. Both have a search bar at the top and a number of categories to show you what's trending or popular. When you see something you like, simply tap and it will appear in the editor. With it selected, the bottom toolbar gives you access to all the customization options. The audio menu is similar, but you can preview selections by tapping here. Then tap here for the song to be applied to your design. And you'll see the toolbar displays audio options like beat sync, adjust, fade, 
and value. You can also use generative AI to create your own image. At the top, choose your output and type in what you're looking for. Use five or more words to get the best outcome. Choose a popular style or tap see all for more options. Tap the generate graphics button and Magic Media will give you four options. Choose any that you like to add it to your design. Magic Media is worth exploring. It's a great time saver and incredibly fun to see what you can produce with the help of AI. Tables are great when you need to arrange text into rows and columns. Tap one and it will be added to the editor. Resize like this or this. Change colors here. Add borders and adjust color, thickness, and style. Double tap to enter text. Tap this button to open the full row menu or this button to access the column menu. Charts are a great way to visualize data in an engaging way. Here, you'll find two types of charts, static and interactive. Static charts are perfect for showing really quick stats like progress or percentages. Tap one to add it to your page. Selecting data will open a panel below where you can add your data. Change the chart style here. Adjust colors by tapping the palettes here. Fonts, text size, and color here. And even add animation. If you have a substantial amount of data that needs to depict changes over time, it's worth considering an interactive chart like racing bars. This is an impactful way to show changing trends. Whereas tree map or pack circles allow you to nest a lot of data that can be explored as needed. Frames are preset shapes that you can drag photos and videos into. And as you can see, there's a wide variety to choose from. Let's choose this one. This placeholder graphic indicates that the frame is currently empty, ready for an image to be placed inside. Tap replace and choose an image from your camera roll, uploads, or from the Canva photo library. You can double tap to open the crop menu and drag the image around within the frame. Smart Crop uses AI to find the most important part of the image with one tap. If you need to remove the image from the frame, hold down on the image until the menu pops up. Scroll down and choose Detach Image. Now you can have a separate frame and image. You can drag the image back into the frame like this. Grids will give you multiple frames in a page filling layout. And they aren't just for images. Filling them with color is a great way to section out areas of your design or video. The final thing to show you is mockups, a clever way to visualize your design on a product or object. Choose a mockup. Then add an image. Then like before, you can drag in your image and it'll appear mocked up on a wall, a t-shirt, a cushion, uh, pretty much anything you can think of. So that's your introduction to the Elements tab, home to the most extensive library of graphic elements. Ready to inspire and enhance your designs? We'd suggest pausing these videos and exploring it more. 
Try creating a design solely using one collection, or start a new project based on an AI-generated image. The creative possibilities are limitless, but we can't wait to see what you create.